Dear friends, it is an immense pleasure to pay tribute to the International Development Research Centre on its 50th anniversary. Across the decades, the IDRC has been a crucial voice on many of the most pressing challenges on the global agenda. It has also been a valued partner of the United Nations. Having served on the IDRC Board of Governors, I know firsthand the high quality of its work and the human touch that infuses everything it undertakes. I've also seen the IDRC's commitment to science, to facts, to evidence-based policy making and to international cooperation. Such an orientation is always vital. Today, it's a matter of life and death as the COVID-19 pandemic continues to bring grief into families, devastation into economies and upheaval into societies across the world. The United Nations continues to mount a wide-ranging response. We're calling for an immediate global ceasefire striving to address the economic and social impacts, maintaining our humanitarian pipelines, and fighting the rise in hate speech and misinformation that have spread along with the virus. We are grateful to the IDRC for its contributions to the global response, including its efforts to accelerate the development of medicines and to focus on the needs of the most vulnerable, particularly in Africa. As we strive to save lives, we must also plan for recovery and pursue a path to build back better. The pandemic has exacerbated long-standing inequalities and fragilities. It has also foreshadowed the scope and the scale of the disruptions the world can expect from climate change. Our vision for this future is embodied in the Sustainable Development Goals, and the IDRC has an important role to play in advancing this crucial work. We will look to you for rigorous research and sound solutions that will help us achieve Agenda 2030. In this year, in which the United Nations marks a milestone of its own, 75 years since its founding, we also count on your partnership and solidarity. Together, we can overcome the pandemic and chart a co course towards a safer, more equitable, inclusive and sustainable future.